Hi, I'm using different recording equipment right now, so I'm sorry if, um, gosh, and I come to you very sleepy, but I'm sorry if the sound isn't that great. Welcome to Actual Spencer. Today I'm going to start filming a try a tap to tag, and I actually haven't fully decided what books are going to be on this try a tap to tag yet, apart from I am going to try this book's first chapter, which is The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. Uh, but I'm gonna like start this even before I've made the decision about what other books are gonna be on this because it's gonna take me a while because I'm very fatigued so yeah I thought that way I could at least get started on this one before I've made all of my decisions. So yeah I will just like come back to you when I've got an update on like any choices I've made. I don't think I am like considering getting rid of it in the same way that I might be considering getting rid of some of the other books that I'm gonna do on this try chapter tag because I'm in a different place so I have access to different books so I can kind of like I don't know like kind of explore them and figure out them in relation to like uh, what I'm interested in reading now rather than like what I was interested in when I first bought them like you know a couple years ago five years ago ten years ago or whatever I don't know if like I just don't really want to anymore hopefully I'll get less fatigued as this goes on but it's not looking likely yeah you see one of the reasons I wanted to do this as well is because like because I'm in a different place oh yeah and also because I've been reading my TBR quite successfully uh, so far using like a TBR jar but I have only just read my first like five year book of the five star book of the year and I have enjoyed like what I've been picking out you know four stars and some of them one of them was like 4.5 stars so you know like we're getting there but even so like that does make me a bit sad because normally I have read like more than just one five star book but at this time in the year like I'm quite generous with star ratings I don't really like obviously it's meaningful to some degree and it's also not that meaningful to some other degree but like you know so I give out five stars like fairly easily but yeah so because of that I guess it's also made me think about like all of these books that I carry around that I haven't read that I haven't read for a while and like is it sort of worth keeping books that are moderately enjoyable and like sometimes it is for sure but yeah I just that's also kind of all mixed in with my thinking about how I'm going to approach this and yeah hi I'm back I am back and I now have I'm a bit more awake which is good I now have like a whole bunch of books that I'm going to do so I probably will split this into two videos and I guess editing me will decide like when to cut various bits out and put in. I've already put the Masker and Margarita downstairs so I'm not gonna show that again but that's obviously still here. Then we've got two non-fiction books. One is Gossip from the Forest by Sarah Maitland and then From Corsets to Communism, The Life and Times of Sylvia Nalkowska which is a biography um which I got through and like I haven't read her book Medallions which I did think I was gonna and now I don't think I will just because I think it's gonna be really horrible. <laughs> it's quite a large book so maybe I We'll pass it on to somebody who will appreciate it more. But I also just, I kind of fell in love with the name. Great name. Anyway, so there's those two non-fiction books. I've got two YA books. One is The Abyss Surrounds Us by Emily Skrutsky, which I've had forever, and Loveless by Alice Oseman, which I actually pre-ordered for a while. Alice Oseman was like the, the like, it would, maybe it's a bit snobby to say this, but I would be like, she's kind of the like literary fiction of YA novels, I felt, which is why I kind of enjoyed her books. And I've read all of them except from this one now. Although I haven't been keeping up with Heartstopper, the comic, but I have read two volumes of that. But it's sort of quite a different vibe, I think. And then this is a sci-fi, space thing and it's queer sorry if you can hear outside voices but yeah i mean it's just especially this one i've literally had for so long and like i never really feel in the mood to pick it up so i should see see if i ever will okay then we've got some kind of like adult fantasies this is the night circus by erin morgenstern this isn't actually mine but it's, it's always showing up on my bookshelf <laughs> so i just thought i would like see if i actually want it and if i don't then i will complain and uh put it somewhere else then i've got tender morsels which is by marco lanagan and this book i got also ages ago because rosiana recommended it i know that it's got sexual violence in it and it's like fairy tale ish so i'm not sure if i will want to read that so again i think i just try the first chapter well actually there's a prologue so i'll try the prologue and the first chapter probably and then we'll see where i stand with that especially because i think you know a lot of books like these i used to really want to read and like really enjoy them and now like they're fine but they're not quite like what i want to read and then i also i've also got pseudo tooth by verity holloway to be honest this isn't really on this list as like a i'm gonna get rid of it it's more on this list as like i want to read this and so but i'm also like a little bit intimidated i guess so maybe it's a good way to like read a chapter here and then see and obviously maybe i'll discover i really dislike it but kind of down there. Then I've got kind of like I guess more contemporary stuff I, I think. I think this is so this is All My Puny Sorrows by Miriam Toast. This is another book like The Night Circus that just like shows up on my bookshelf <laughs> but I also keep it there so 
I was like, I should probably try and read it because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be for me, but I've heard some good things about Miriam Toes. Toes? Is that how you say her name? I'm not sure. I've also got The Border of Paradise, which is a novel by Esme Eight Wage and Wang, whose non-fiction book I have back there and I also haven't read it yet, but I will. I think the main character, or like one of the main characters, is a man, and I think that's kind of what put me off, but I, I just have never really picked it up. The font is not fun. But yeah, I should definitely, you know, read it. Oh, it's like separated. Interesting. So we'll see. I definitely think I should try because like, again, this is something must have been published in about 2017 and I think I got it like around then. I've also got Black Wave by Michelle T, which I have clearly read 34 pages of because there's this lovely <laughs> bookmark in there. I'm not sure if I will start again. I've also like underlined books. So mm, I've read much more than the first chapter of this, I guess. Although what is the first chapter? <laughs> I know like Sean from Story Time really likes Michelle T. I, I think I enjoyed what I read. This I read this quite a long time ago, but I think I enjoyed it, but I just it didn't like pull me to read more of it. So we'll see. But it's set in the 90s in San Francisco and it's queer and stuff. Just two more in this whole list. This is Mama by Will Eves. And I guess part of me is like, I'll start to read this the first chapter, but maybe I'll just finish it whilst I'm here and then I can either give it away or keep it if I really love it. It's about Alan Turing and it was shortlisted for the Goldsmith Prize, which I think is what like drew my attention to it because it's also like quite experimental and I obviously like that. And queer. Shortlisted for the James Tate Black Prize as well. Winner of the Republic of Consciousness Prize. Ah, so yeah. Why don't they put that on the front? Anyway, I am looking forward to this. So like, again, this is more of a like, read the first chapter to see if I can get like hooked into it to read it more. But, and then lastly I have Autumn by Ali Smith. I'm not actually sure if I will read this one. I read Winter and I would like to read the rest of the quartet. But I mean, I enjoyed Winter, but I didn't think it was brilliant. So I'm not sure, but I kind of, you know, wanted to check Autumn out and stuff. And I obviously found this like secondhand pretty cheaply. So yeah, I mean, it's a great cover, like, cause it feels really nice. It's like a book that feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> I might read it and even if I don't like it, I might just like still keep it. Cool, I will update you when I've made some progress, which I think will be quite like incremental, especially considering how many fucking books I just picked out, but yeah. <laughs> just an update, so Mama I read a bit of and it's fine, but I think I'm actually gonna give it to my brother because I think he might enjoy it. It's quite like I mean, it's about Alan Turing and it's quite like maths stuff, kind of, or like philosophic, the world, perception, probability type vibe. Also, I've decided I'm not going to try and read this one. I am going to keep it, but I, I'm just not going to read it right now. So just, I'm just too tired. Like, I'm just going to do the others that are actually more like on the chopping block or not. Whereas this one, it was just kind of like interest. I am still interested. I just, there's only so much like energy I can marshal to do this anyway, so don't want to waste it. So yeah, just a little update. Hi, I found two more books that I think I'm going to put on this try chapter tag and it's The Diary of a Provincial Lady by E.M. Delafield and This Brutal House by Niven Govindan, which, you know, I, is a proof and which means I think I probably picked it up when I was like working of in 2015 which like obviously isn't that long i do think it's kind of silly sometimes when people are like it's been on my shelf for two years which like two years isn't that long like you're gonna read books for most of your life like but i do still feel like this is quite a long time yeah i just think that like maybe this isn't really what i'm looking to read at the moment so we'll see and the reason i put this on is because obviously i think this is like really gorgeous i really like how it looks and it also has like anna marie kryptonite for keeping a book which is a whole bunch of like you know, dedications, but I don't think I really care about the book at all. <laughs> I have, I have done some first chapter reading. I read The Border of Paradise by Esme Wajin Wang. I did not read the first full part because that's quite long. And also because it's clearly about quite like intense stuff. And unfortunately reading it didn't help me decide one way or the other. So I would really like your help. Like if you have read this, please let me know and like let me know if you think I would like it. And especially let me know basically like I did I did read that it was quite like it was about like lots of really intense things and I think a couple of those intense things I'm not really sure if I want to read about anymore particularly. So it's sort of yeah, but it's like I started and I was like I've probably gotta like give this away and then I found it like fairly easy to read and I quite liked how it was written and I was like oh, it's got a nice narrative voice. So I just went back and forth. So yeah, let me know any thoughts you have on this to help. I read the first chapter of Pseudo Tooth by Verity Holloway and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think this book is going to be great and I kind of wish I could just read it more now, but I obviously have this project going, so I won't. Yeah, just like, I think it might feel a bit like intense because it is about sort of like somebody with these, because it is about somebody who has seizures, but nobody knows why. 
she's got this great cover too so yeah they're like trying to figure that out she's a 17 year old girl called Ashley and they don't know why she is having them so she's engaging a lot with like the psychiatry and also just general doctoring and obviously okay doctors and they have a lot of experience being like undiagnosed and having to navigate doctor and like healthcare spaces so I think obviously like I never had seizures and it's definitely going to be like a magically type like the vibe is obviously going to be like magically but anyway yeah well all that is to say that I really enjoyed it I also read the first chapter of this and I also can't really decide about it I think I am leaning more towards I won't read it it's about Georgia this girl who's never like had a crush on anyone or been in love on or, or kissed at the beginning and is you know obsessed with romance still but like it's just trying to figure that out and like well, she has like a best friend who just seems like much better but also like more interesting <laughs> well I've just heard like some negative things about the representation of her friend who is a person of color you know I don't know I'm not sure I'm just not sure if I obviously like I do it's like when will I be in the mood to read this and the answer is probably not really but then I can still read things that I'm not in the mood for like I'm not a fully mood reader but I am like directed by vibe I don't know so anyway, like, let me know if you also have thoughts about this and if you think I would like it or not. And I've actually barely seen it around. I feel like I'm much more often likely to see Radio Silence or Heartstoppers around on fiction, you know. And like, you know, maybe this book is also just like much more meaningful and interesting to people who it relates to, which is obviously fine. And yeah, that's not everything about the quality of the book. Anyway, a bit of a, I mean, a good update but a bit of a uh, ambivalent update but it took me a while to think of that word i will talk to you when i next have some progress to uh you know share i'm very tired bye hello back with another update i've now read two more so this is tender morsels by margot lanigan i think i said marco in the last clip but i think i was also not speaking very well because I'm so tired but anyway I read some of this and and I also looked up some reviews and things it's really funny isn't it because I just feel like I'm a bit of a different reader in that like I'm I'm quite distressed generally so like I actually now I feel like avoid things like this whereas before I was kind of like searching for a way to understand and like make into a narrative my own life and like what happened to me and stuff and so sometimes these books even though they made me really upset and uncomfortable and sometimes yeah they were also kind of like comforting and now I'm not really sure and like still sometimes I think you know it can be comforting to read about things that are personally very upsetting because they do kind of help you process or help you feel some of the emotions around it but yeah I'm just not really sure so another one that I'm not sure about <laughs> but I'm really sure about this and that I'm definitely going to keep it because I really enjoyed the first section and it's not set in space I don't really know where I got that from it's actually like water and it's about pirates and stuff and part of the thing that got me was that like there are these like cephalopods and like these big like creatures being bred to protect ships traveling around the ocean and it's really cool because it starts by kind of like there's this lab where you see them being like gestated like outside of a body and that's really cool so I was like well I should definitely read this and I really yeah I really enjoyed the first chapter I think it will be fun and I'm definitely gonna keep it and hopefully get to it soon I think I've basically decided that I will give these away I haven't fully come to that conclusion yet but I think that's where I'm gonna what I'm gonna do so if you'd like it, either of these books let me know and depending on which country I'm in and which country you're in maybe I can get them to you I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for this section of the this try a chapter tag but I am going to I am gonna keep reading the others and keep recording it it's just that like in the time frame I'd like to get like a, this video up and then I'll do part two at another time yeah and in part two I'll probably like go over my decisions with more firmness because it will give me a little bit more time to like decide whether or not I want to keep them or not yeah okay thanks for watching and yeah let, please let me know like your thoughts about the books I mentioned including The Border of Paradise 